Welcome to another episode of Three Things in Three Minutes. My name is Damon King. I'm a certified financial planner professional, licensed investment advisor, and licensed insurance professional with Chapelwood Financial Services. I'm also the lead instructor for the Rocky Retirement Financial Enrichment Series at Francis Tuttle Technology Center. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of all the things that we have to think about as part of our overall financial plan, the one area that seems to be the one we hate talking about the most and that we put off, we put off and put off, but if not done, can have the most damaging effect on our money, all the things that we've saved. That one area is estate planning, all right? So today I'm going to discuss three must-haves for your estate plan. Number one, just have an estate plan in general. Just have one, okay? If you don't have an estate plan of your choosing, rest assured that the state you live in will create one for you. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's not going to be to your advantage, okay? The state doesn't care about what your wishes are. It cares about distributing your assets and in many and taking care of your children and your spouse. But in general, your wishes are left out in the cold. If you don't want the courts to decide how your estate is going to be handled and distributed, take some time, get a simple will in place, a trust, whatever you decide to do, okay? If you die without an estate plan, it's called dying intestate. And if you want to know what it's like to have to deal with uh, issues when you don't have an estate plan, look up Prince. Prince died in 2016. He didn't have an estate plan. He had an estate valued over $200 million. Look him up. Google him and you'll see what's going, through, what's going on with his family because he doesn't have an estate plan. Number two, you want to make sure that you have durable powers of attorney, both medical and financial. If you were put into a situation where you were incapacitated, you were left unconscious, not necessarily in a vegetative state, but you were unconscious. You were in a coma and uh, you weren't going to wake up for a while. Who would make financial and medical decisions for you? If you don't have powers of attorney in place to dictate who your personal representatives will be, guess who will make those decisions for you? The courts. Do you really want the courts deciding who is going to make financial and medical decisions for you or would you rather have somebody that you choose? I think the answer is pretty obvious. So make sure that you get durable powers of attorney in place so you can dictate who will make those decisions. And finally, you want to have a living will. This is also sometimes called an advanced directive. If you are left in a persistent vegetative state, you are brain dead, there is no hope of you coming back, then you don't want the courts deciding who chooses to put you on life support and who chooses for you to go off. You also don't want to leave your family in the position of having to decide. You don't want to leave your children in a position of having to decide to take you off of life support. That's a really terrible thing to have to decide to take mom or dad off of life support. Do you really want them making that decision? I certainly wouldn't. So take a few moments, have an advanced directive, let people know how long you want to be on life support measures, how long you want to be on uh, resuscitation. Do you have a do not resuscitate order in place? Get that in place as part of your overall estate plan to prevent your family and the courts from deciding for you. And that's all that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can uh, view the, many more of these episodes uh, on our YouTube page. You can also give us a like, give us a share, leave us a comment down in the comment section. You can also visit our uh, podcast, subscribe to our podcast at iTunes. Search for It's All About the Money, Honey. And you can also enroll for the Rocky Retirement and fin uh, Financial Enrichment Series, Surviving 30 Years of Unemployment. It's going to be at Francis Tuttle Technology Center. I'll be your instructor for that. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.